I am not, 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 I am not a licensed mobility scooter technician. I do what I do to keep my machine working. If you're having problems with your machine, I suggest going to your dealer. If you add accessories, warranty goes bye-bye. So I just kind of want to enjoy what I can while I can. So I strongly suggest you don't do the things that I do. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> Uh, I gotta plug it in first. Electricity helps in this case. Oh, if I got enough of it. That'd be an easier way to do it. Yeah, something to hold it up. plastic is fused right to it. I don't know how else I could have got that out. <clears throat> That's like a figure. <clears throat> got one off. corrosion. There's got to be aluminum. That's probably what the problem is. Yeah, aluminum against steel. They bonded. They got other stupid design issues. Why not this one too, right? Ow. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, so at least I got those off. But that looks like aluminum. That looks like aluminum corrosion. So that's probably what the issue is. You can't put aluminum and steel together. They bond. They become one. Which explains the issue. So I'm glad I bought two of these, because I'm going to need this one. i got to make a spacer now. Yeah, let's do that right now.
<clears throat> there we go, one spacer ready to go. soak overnight <clears throat> see if that makes any difference so I I did a lot of work out here yesterday I wanted to get as much done as I could well, I accomplished that <laughs> unfortunately now I don't feel like doing anything at all but I want to get something done and Tomorrow is supposed to rain, according to the forecast, it's going to rain all day. Maybe not steady rain all day, but you know, it could be off and on, but all day we're supposed to get rain. So I figured if I need to do anything, uh, I'm, not what I'm, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. I don't really plan on going out tomorrow, so I can do work out here. So I'm just, I'm so worn out from yesterday, I, I was, I was so sore by the time I was finished everything. So I didn't expect to do anything out here today at all. But I'm going to, I want to, I feel like it, so I am going to. So I got my parts all painted up. So all I really need to do as far as <clears throat> work goes is I gotta cut a couple more spacers. And then I can put the, the second side back together. It's, I kind of know what I'm doing now after the first one, so it, it went a whole lot quicker. <laughs> it was a whole lot easier to do it the second time. But I haven't, I haven't taken the fender apart yet. Um, I got, I'm gonna put more uh, liquid wrench on the screws. And uh, like I said, this one's already broken, so it's gonna be interesting trying to weld that back together. I'm going to do the same thing as I did on the other side. I'm going to put the, the piece of threaded rod across and just weld to that. That seemed to work. But with this thin steel, it, as soon as you, you start welding it, part of it disintegrates, the rest of it just warps. And so it can be difficult to try to keep it straight. If I can't do it, $28 to replace that. Yeah. But I'm not going to do that today. I'll save that for tomorrow, I guess. And I got liquid wrench on it now. I'm going to put some more on before I go in today. So by tomorrow, I should be ready to hopefully take a part. So I don't know what else I'm going to do. Probably not much anything else. So I get that part assembled. And the only thing I really have to do is, like I say, cut a couple spacers, put the bearings in, and put it all together. Uh, as far as the hub goes, like I say, these bearings still seem okay. I can spin them, they're smooth, there's no, there's no wobble in them. So, I'm just going to clean this up. I might even do that today. Clean this up give it a nice coat of paint and then that's ready to go on we'll see what happens I don't ex actually don't expect the paint to be dry tomorrow <laughs> because it's pretty damp today and it's going to be damp again tomorrow so well we'll see what happens
to cut the wrong end. <laughs> so I slotted this side and ended up cutting it off this side. Why did I do that? I don't know. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. that time yep Actually fits tighter this time. Good. Good, good, good. That's a good thing.
help I put it in the right way. Put it on upside down. I'm going to pick up on it. Looks good. And all I have left to do is there we go. And all the play is now gone out of that. This one here, something it's worn out inside here somehow. It just wasn't holding tight anymore. So that won't all good. So I'll clean this up. And that's good to go. Erg. The camera turned off again. I don't know what all you missed. I finally got it in. Just trying to Eat the book through.
stick the ball joints in really quick. Just so I can move the monster around. Okay. And that took a whole lot more energy than I expected. <laughs> so now I just gotta clean this up, throw some paint on it, and I think I'm done for today.